Hey, hey! I'm going to make a custom resin tray and I never know what the effect will be. It's kind of one of those things like fluid art. You just kind of hope for the best and I've got a 13 inch silicone mold from Amazon. I've mixed 24 ounces of resin, equal parts A and B, 12 ounces each, uh, green and yellow label, medium viscosity, counterculture DIY. I mixed it six minutes. Now I'm going to switch to stopwatch and hit start. And that's important to keep an eye on the time. I've got a three ounce cup and I'm going to put maybe two ounces at the most. Maybe just a little bit less. It's still one and a half to two ounces. That will be my white, which I'm going to mix in a minute. I have this on a big 36 inch silicone mat, which is fabulous for my work table, but I also have it on a board so that I can um, level it if I need to. If my, for some reason, my table is not fully level or if I need to move it off my table to work on another uh, project. So that's why a lot of times you don't see the counterculture mat, but it's there and all my drips and everything are getting on that silicone mat. Um, I am going to make sure I'm level before I go any further. Uh, before I put any resin in the molds, I want to lay out, I've got silver uh, metal shards and then I have glass chromium small pieces from counterculture DIY. I think I'm going to use these. Sometimes it's just easier to work from a cup instead of a bag. I just want kind of a shimmery edge. These are shards, kind of like little metal pieces of glitter, but they're metal instead of glitter. And I'm going to just put a little bit in the center. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to go around this so it just kind of lands on top and then around the edge. And we don't want this full because we're going to put a background color on it. Uh, and that'll be the top coat while it's in the mold, but it will be the, the background. So I'm going to put about an ounce in the mold, which holds two ounces. So I just want that about half full. I think I got enough to do two. I'll wipe my stick off, put it aside, and let it cure. The cup here with my white, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. And there's always a drip that just trickles off. Cast and craft pigment, white alcohol ink, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just random numbers here. Random numbers. I have White Lily by Etsy Funshine Color Shop. It is a little bit of a shimmery white. I'm putting just a little bit on the tip of my stick just to see if that gives it any shimmer. We'll see here in a second. I've got White Snow Dispersion Color. I'm going to stick my stick into it. 
and then put that into the resin. I just wet the stick. That's really all I want to do with it. So let's mix it up and see what it looks like. We're probably going to add some more shimmer to that. It may be a different mica. We're going to go back to that in a minute. I want to go ahead and get over here. I'm going to try to bring up some of these bubbles to the surface. So you always want to heat your resin before you put your alcohol ink in. So the scheme of this is going to be soft blues with my white through it and a hint of I have silver and gun metal. I've got denim sky. Denim is by um, I'm not sure who this is by. I might can find where I purchased it. I'll put it in the uh, link below the video. This is Tim Holtz Denim, Bray Reese Brown, and Bray Reese Sky. I'm trying to just think out loud how I want my colors to be. Because I really don't, I don't know how the, uh, the metallics are going to do. Let's just start. Is it See much softer sky is it's way bluer and softer but not sure not sure not sure not sure see it almost disappears there and that might be a good thing I'm not sure my brown I put two drops in the middle just let it kind of do its thing I'm gonna go to the gun metal Okay. It's very pretty and shimmery, that's for sure. And it, it kind of it's kind of separating into little particles, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to fill in a hole or two. Okay, so now I'm going to take the silver. That took a big squirt. Uh, you should sometimes maybe start your ink off to the side if you haven't used the bottle in a while. Matter of fact, I'll lift that out just because I don't know. Do a gun metal in the middle, a couple of drops. It's kind of shifting. I think I'm going to put a stick on this end just a bit to see if it helps it. This is a big big one where the silver came out all of a sudden. Uh, that's off center. See if it'll go back a bit. Maybe I don't need that stick. Okay, so let's go back to denim. Sky. brown and it looks so different in a pink mold versus a clear mold. I just want to make that clear too. Okay then the gunmetal let's just go 
in between. Ah. And then the silver. I'm going to do gunmetal and this little silver areas. Okay, that's still off center. So I'm hoping I can get that to shift a bit. I'm at 24 minutes. Well, I guess I got my stuff off center in the middle. Can't tell where it is. I do like the brown in it a bit. That was denim. I'm going to bring the gun metal in just a little bit closer. And then I got to get ready to pipe. Okay, back to the white. It's not warm yet, so you want to kind of feel it being warm. And I think I want just a little more shimmer. I've got white crystal, so this is a finer uh, mica than the sparkle white. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of my spoon, and my spoon is like the size of my finger. It's not a big spoon. It's not the hors d'oeuvre spoon. I can feel it starting to warm. It's 27 minutes. I'm going to take a cup with a piping bag put into it. Shift it, push it all the way down. Then twist really tight. I'm going to use that in a minute here. Get my scissors out. So now I want to just concentrate on this and I'm going to um, I'm just going to kind of go through the center here and then just kind of swirl that color around a bit. I think I'm going to put a few more. Since I don't, I can't see them, I don't know where they are, where they landed. I'm going to sink those down too and pray that it all ends up in the middle. I'm going to do a silver edge around. It's at 30 minutes right now. I'm just squiggling. 
And then I'll go back. Okay. So let's take the bag. It's warm, but it's not super warm and it's not hot. I'm going to cut off the tip. Put that plastic in your hand so it doesn't drag in your resin. And I'm just going to kind of start going around. So these I'm just going to do a spiral. And I'm basing this off on another resin tray that I did similar to this, but I don't expect it to really look anything like it. So, okay, and then I'm just going to go, I'm just going to kind of squiggle white lines. all the way around to the edge. So like with the shaky hand. Okay, so now I want to kind of drag any blobby areas where the white kind of stops and starts in, in the center of those humps. I'm just going to kind of drag them out a little bit so maybe it won't blob as badly. And then on these, I'm going to come out where the ovals are. I'm also going to just drag in a little bit through the white. And I'm not scraping the bottom of the mold. So this one, I think I'm just going to randomly drag in Now, I'm going to heat it with the heat gun. Got a little bit of white left. And we're just going to do some little dashes. It's kind of tacky. Everything with 
resin, uh, no matter what the shape, it all goes towards the center as it cures the chemical reaction. It just goes to the center. So um, just hoping this will look pretty. I'm going to cover this and wait about four or five hours and then we'll do the background layer that will be on the bottom side, which is actually the top side at this moment. Okay, it's been four hours. It's flexible, but it's not warm. It's not going to change anymore. I've mixed up 20 ounces of the medium viscosity resin. This will be the bottom solid coat, and then we'll unmold them and see the reverse side to see what we've got. I'm going to use uh, this little piggy, and it is uh, King of Pain. I'll show you the jar in just one second. I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, three. So it's like King of Pain, P-A-Y-N-E. It would be like Payne's Gray. So it's going to be a really kind of deep charcoal blue navy color. I'm folding it in so it doesn't fly around in my studio and over my mold. And my cup is really full, so I'm just having to uh, do this very carefully. I'm loving it already, though. I'm going to put one more. Let's do four. So it's this little piggy and King of Pain. I'm going to stir it off camera. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I added two spoonfuls of Black Magic, which is a very shimmery, sparkly. It's not really black, but it's called Black Magic. And that puts some shimmer into the um, King of Pain. And I don't know if you can even see it, but I'll show you in the light. I'm going to go ahead and top coat these coasters. It's so full. I'm not going to pour all this in just because it may overflow. Okay, that's maxed out. These look just about right. Two and a half ounces or so left. I have a round coaster mold. All right here I'm just gonna put the rest of it into the coaster. I'll just let this cure and I can pop it out. And um, like I said these are maxed out and this round one that I added resin to I can just paint something on top and do a pretty single coaster. little spritz of alcohol, 91 or 99 percent, not rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to cover these and I will be back tomorrow. Okay, let's unmold these. It's been the next day. There's that one. A little off whack. There's that one. The colors are pretty good. I'm actually pleased with the colors. So let's see. I know there's some blobs because I could see from the underside of the tray. As you can see, this is like over half an inch thick. Okay, 
let's see what it is. Okay. So it's pretty perfect as far as my colors. I really love the colors. I got a lot of white blobs, but um, otherwise I really love it. And this is a bit off center. So I'm going to just finish it out anyway. Somebody's going to love it. I have my regular silver knobs, which are you know, bigger. I have these little silver ones, which are a little bit more dainty. And I think on this one, I'm going to go with the smaller on these. So every time I work in my studio, I have my window open, even in the winter time. I have it open because of resin and so forth and the fan going. And there's always something going on across the street with my neighbor. He works in his garage all the time. So there's a drill going or sanding or something. <laughs> so anyway. The other thing I'm going to do too is I am going to do the liquid chrome silver pen around the edge of the coasters only, but I'm going to top coat them with a clear coat just to give my glassy shine. So besides the blobs, I would almost say this was perfection as far as the colors I wanted, the shimmer, it's just stunning. I'm only going to mix about four ounces or so of resin to put a clear coat on and put the knobs in. Here's the fast set. It's the blue label. It sets up in an hour or two. You have about 10 minutes working time. It is not the turbo. You don't want to use turbo. There's just not enough working time with turbo. I'm also going to put my turntable underneath. This just help, helps with um, coating the tray and you can turn it as you're coating it. It just makes life easier for you. But we're not planning on having any spillage either. This was also the round coaster that I filled up and then it's not all the way full. I'll do some artwork and then top coat it later. Okay, it's been six minutes. I mixed the resin up and um, I've coated the coasters. And then I'm going to take, I'm not going to take all of it because sometimes it, it might be too much and it might overflow your mold or your tray. Facet has a little bit of an odor and it has bubbles because it's thicker. So uh, just be aware of that. And what I like about having the turntable is that you can turn your piece as you spread your resin. And just push down and wiggle. Let that sit for a minute. Okay, I took my glove off just to get make sure I had clean hands and I'm just pressing really firmly to make sure those knobs are in. Gonna cover it. We'll be back in a couple hours to unveil it. <laughs>